Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 3, lesson 9. Place the first digit. Okay, we are, we'll do the division. Page number is 209. Guys, place the first digit means like when you have a division question in which you have the first number. Like in the last lesson, we were dividing one by one. First we divide this number, then we minus, then bring the next number down, then minus, then bring the next number down, right? But in this one, you can see the first number is less than the divisor. So what we do, we place the first digit. We take the second digit also. So we divide the two digits together. So in this one, you, is, you have three digits dividend, but your quotient will be only two digits. Why? Because uh, the first number is less than the divisor. So you will take the two digits together and you write the quotient above the second digit. So you take two digits together, 13, 3 times what will give you 13 or less than that, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, 15 is more than 13, we can't take that, so 3 times 4 is 12, 13 minus 12, it's 1, now you bring the next number down, 5, 3 times 5 is 15, 15 minus 15, 0, so the quotient is 45. This is the estimate, the estimate of 135. They take it as 150 divided by 350. Again, here guys, in this question, the first number less than the divisor, we take two digits together, seven times nine, 63, 67 minus 63, four, bring the next number down, eight here, seven times six is 42 and 7 times 7 is 49 which is more than 48 we can't take that 7 times 6 42 48 minus 42 6 bring the 4 down 7 times 9 63 and 64 minus 63 1 so remainder is 1 you can see the dividend uh, you have is of 4 digits and the quotient is only three digits because the first number is less than the divisor so that's why this lesson is known as place the first digit okay again here the first number less than the divisor we take the two digits together four times eight forty sorry five times eight forty forty three minus forty is three bring the five down five times seven thirty five and thirty five minus thirty five zero Again here, same thing. In this lesson, you will uh, get this this thing again and again. Like the first number will be less than the divisor. So you will take the two digits together. Okay, even on the next page in independent practice. So when you do that page, take care of this thing, guys. Eight times seven is fifty-six. Sixty-two minus fifty. 6 equals 6, bring the 9 down, and 8 times 8, 64, 69 minus 64, 5, remainder is 5. Here on the next page, guys, independent practice, so you must divide it, okay, just like I showed you on the first two pages, and then you can match your answers through this video. Okay, here, there are 624 envelopes to be sorted into 8 different mail bags. So, 624 divided by 8, 78 envelopes in each mail bag. Okay, you can divide it here, guys. There are 594 people standing in line to see a movie premiere. The movie is playing in 6 theaters. So 694 divided by 6, uh, they write it unknown because in the question they said write an equation to find the unknown, then find the unknown. So the unknown is P. When you divide it, you will get it 99 people in each theater. The environmental club is having a trash pickup day. There are 130 people signed up to help for the trash pickup day. They will work in groups of four people, so no more than four people can join a group. Like in a group, you can put four people or less than that, not more than four. Okay, 
So if you divide 130 with 4, you will get 32 remainder uh, 2. Let us try. Let us do it. 130 divide by 4. 4 times 3, 12. 13 minus 12, 1, 0. 4 times 2, 8. So remainder is 2. So you will create 32 groups and for the two peoples left over you create another group so that's why 33 groups okay actually you have 32 groups of four people in each and the last group of two people so that's why 33 groups okay can you determine the number of digits in the quotient 637 divided by 7 of course the first number is less than the divisor so you will just get two digits two numbers in the quotient how can I know where to place the first digit of a quotient? Write a division expression and explain each step to a final. I can use basic facts, compatible numbers or estimation to place the first digit of a quotient. Like here in this question, the first number is less than the divisor. So I will place the quotient above the second digit because we will divide two digits together. Okay, so this is how we place the first digit. So I hope you really understand the lesson. If you really understand, guys, uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.